Hello everybody, Princess and the Bear here, and we're back with another ranking video. Ranking videos. It's been a be, minute. It has been a minute, so we're back comparing today two resorts. They both share a pond. And a Skyliner. Art of Animation and Pop Century Resort. Yes. We have stayed at both? We've stayed at both. Yes. Uh, Pop Century is one of my favorite resorts to stay at, really, just mm. since they renovated it. The beds are really comfortable. Mm, the, the showers are, are really nice. nice. Yeah. The rooms are really nice. We have a room tour. We'll put that link in the description box down below. We've also stayed at Art of Animation. However, we've only done the Little Mermaid room. Right. We haven't stayed in a suite. So right. the Little Mermaid standard room. Yeah. And I, heard recently, I heard they recently renovated a few of those. Have they? The Mermaid rooms. Or it's planned to somewhere in there. It's been in the news. That those rooms, if they haven't been, need. They're really bad. Yeah. They're so not worth the price. Don't even bother. As far as resorts so far, costs versus sort of utility and usefulness, I would say that Pop Century is probably the top of the list as far as value goes, money for what you're getting. The Disney Skyliner does, the station does sit in the middle in between both of these two resorts. So either one that you stay at, you will be able to use that new mode of transportation. So at each of the resorts is two restaurants a piece. Each resort well, has one, one restaurant and a, bar. and a bar. All of these restaurants are pulled from Disney.com. So it's their complete list. They did list all of them as quick service. So we went ahead and broke these out into the two categories of quick service and bar. Let's do quick service first. All right. Everything pop, shopping and dining. I hate the name. Just, just, just so you guys know, I'm, I hate the name. Well, with both the resorts, the store is actually connected to the indoor entrance of the quick service location it's, it's like a pass so it, it fits but you didn't need to call it shopping and dining the shop has outside it gives it's its own sign i think they both have their own sign still anyway but their own it, registers it doesn't matter yeah, it's, it's weird it's it's all fit into a nice spot i actually really enjoy everything pop i like the food offerings that they have i have a lot of choices we've we've done We've done a whole sprawl of the food they have. Um, they've, unlike some other resorts that will remain nameless, they've never given us a hard time about ordering anything plant-based either. It's true. You had that uh, huge hunk of bread sandwich there that one time. Yes, I did. It's like a full loaf of bread with a few veggies stuffed in the middle, sort of warmed, but it was like- It was nice. Huge. It was made fresh. It was made vegan. It was great. You could have sliced that thing up enough, like quarters, and fed a oh, whole thing. Oh yeah, family. you could have definitely four people could have had. It barely fit on the plate. It was so big. Um, and I don't know if that's because we had it modified. Was that the one we had modified? Yeah. Yeah, but it was absolutely massive. And then their burgers. They have with the Beyond Burger. They have like the homemade chips, which most of the value resorts have, which we love. Um, then they would they have the normal pasta station, they have the drink station. The waffle fries. The waffle fries. Which you could not get enough of. No, the actually. waffle fries were amazing. I think we fought over those waffle fries. We did. I think and I got more too, just yeah. to munch on them, because they're so good. Yeah. The, the, the one thing about Pop Century is the way it's designed is like you don't have to go very far. Just go get your food and come no. back. No, and with both the Art of Animation and Pop Century, it is very good to have a resort day because you, you want to walk around the grounds. They have fun little facts about each decade or each um, animated film based on where you are that you can like go and read. And they have great photo spots. Yes. Me personally, I love high five Mr. Potato Head. That's like my jam. Yeah. Every single time I see him run up, the highest of fives, Mr. Potato Head. I don't know why. I'm, I'm a dork. But whatever. I like Ursula. <sighs> She's kind of imposing. Yeah. I wasn't talking about <laughs> Ursula, but whichever uh but I, I love that resort it, it definitely i know the term value sort of scares people away but i mean you're it's missing out one that resort doesn't really have anything that uh the, one of the moderate resorts or deluxe have other than like a signature table service restaurant but yeah. you can still go to those so i definitely uh high on my list i don't like very many quick services actually in fact i end up hating most of them i think they're just like not worth it. Pop Century, I actually don't mind. The food's not overly priced. And with a variety of options I get, plus alcohol, I can't really complain too much. Yes. 
So, Landscape of Flavors. Landscape of Flavors we've been to a few times in the past. It yes. is at Art of Animation. Yes. Since we've been, they have actually changed their menu, so we didn't really give it the best reviews, but there's also a, a lot of new plant-based stuff that we need to go back and try. Which means that they're on the list again, so we're coming for you. Landscape of flavors. The only the only issue I had was with the grease level of the amount of food with, of the food that they've served, and yeah. that doesn't always correct itself with a new menu item. So yeah. we'll we'll see how that is. And we've been fairly straightforward about it. That in some cases it's our own doing because a lot of times we order things to go, especially if we're staying in the resort. Or you mobile order, it just does it to and, go. And you do a mobile order and they, they give it to you in a to-go container. And like, I don't know if it's like a trading thing, but they put the food in the container when it's like hot and then close it. So it's just like yeah. grease and juices. So that we like, we've gotten a couple meals now, three or four actually, that have been just swimming in grease, which is not the most Right, like they planning. didn't give the item uh, some time to rest before they put it in, so then it kept cooking while it was in the box, and then either overcooked it or made it soggy or something like that. I don't have a problem with this place, obviously, but it may be a little problem, but we need to go, go back. back. They we have a create back. your own station for quite a few things, so you're able to customize your food items. So don't be discouraged if you don't see any plant-based stuff on the menu, they'll still be able to do something for you. And if you don't like it, just walk across the bridge to Pop Century. Yeah, that's true. That's, you can, you can just walk right over. To walk, I mean, it's a little walk. Just go across walk. the bridge. I'd say, the, the I'd say that or pond. Art of Animation has a better looking pool. Oh yeah, the Nemo pool is really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So next up we have the Petals oh, Pool Bar. Next we have the bars. The chewy's been getting rough. I got, I got to work on that. So Petals Bar is at Pop Century Resort. I really like their specialty drinks. Yes. Every time we go there, <laughs> we get something that we like. Uh, we've never been disappointed by any of their drinks. The lava lamp one. I forgot what was in it, but that was interesting. Yes, they don't. They mix it up, and it's been, it's been something different almost every time we've gone. Yeah, but they have their love. like signature themed drinks also, which go coincide with whatever decade. It's, it's cool. It's usually it's usually fun and good, which is yeah. hard in a drink. So points for that one. But it's all outdoors, which is a little bit of a struggle sometimes when it's Florida summer. And this one is completely outdoors. Yeah. yeah. Unlike some of the other resorts, it is yeah. one hundred percent outdoors. But it's got a little covering, it's got a little shade. It's thingy. got the only. It's got like a little awning over it for you to order your drinks and stuff, and then the rest of it is go find a table with an umbrella, basically. All right, and then we have the drop-off pool bar. The drop-off. I really like that bar, and it actually does have like a nice little seating area. Little mini patio. Yeah, I really like the way that it's positioned though, because as a parent, you can just go sit at the bar, and you still have like a, a nice eagle eye view of your, your children of your children in the pool. So if you want to like just go sit at the bar and chill in the little shaded seated area, and not go back to the pool area while watching your kids. You can do that. Of course, they have lifeguards there too. Mm. We don't have kids. We're not telling you how to raise your your children. It's just you got options. Yeah. But there's definitely more more of a seating area there than there is at Petals. So that's true. The drinks aren't horrible here either because I've definitely got a couple things that I've liked. But yeah. we've had a couple things that gave you oatmeal cookie face. Yeah, I think there was one that had coconut in it uh, that I just no. didn't. It just wasn't my jam. It's like Anderson Cooper face. Uh, no, no. So. All right, now it's time to rank these. Okay, so here we go. So number four is going to be Landscape of Flavors. Number three is going to be Petals Pool Bar. Number two is going to be the Drop Off. And number one is everything pop. Woohoo! She popping off over here. Ha! <laughs> yeah, no. Horrible, horrible non dad jokes. I'll be here all day. So, what do we have here? Let's do some shell game stuff here. 
Ooh. I have a feeling that me and the princess are going to be fairly aligned on this one. We're on basically the same page as far as this place goes. Boom. Now, as usual, starting from the bottom to the top, landscape flavors, dead last. Not that it's a terrible place, it's just we need to go back. The last couple times have not been great to us. Petals Pool Bar, because while it has good drinks, seating and atmosphere here in Florida is king. So, it's going to be third. The drop off pool bar is second. And then everything pop shops and dining is my number one. So, that has been our ranking of Pop Century Resort and Art of Animation. Art of Animation. We want to know which one of you guys prefer. Have you stayed at either Art of Animation or Pop Century? Do we owe Art of Animation another stay? Do we owe Landscape of Flavors another visit? We're probably going to go anyway, but we want to hear what you think. So let us know in the comments as you normally do. That's how you find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. And we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl.